in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Almighty Father, we thank you for the gift of this day. We thank you for the gift of Mother Mary in our life. We ask you to bless us, especially in this sharing. May your Holy Spirit guide us through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I welcome you today in this little sharing about the Holy Rosary. We are in the month of Holy Rosary. Some are asking themselves, what is really Rosary? The Rosary is a scripture-based prayer. It begins with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And then as we hold this crucifix, this sign of the cross is followed by the Apostles' Creed. After the Apostles' Creed, we begin our Father. After our Father, our Father begins with these big beads and then followed by three Holy Marys, this one. Followed by glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Then that one will be followed by the prayer of our Blessed Mother at Fatima. Then we begin the first mystery. The first mystery we mention, and then after mentioning, we can read the passage from the scripture. Or if the passage from the scripture is not there, then we begin with our Father. Followed by ten Holy Marys, as you can see, these ten beads. After these ten Holy Marys, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Then that one will be followed by the prayer of our Blessed Mother at Fatima. So the whole thing goes up to the end like this. When we are done with all the five decades, decades are this one. As you see, there are five decades. So, when we are done with all the five decades, then we pray the Holy Holy Queen. Mary is understood or is recognized as our mother, the mother of Christ, and the Queen of Heaven. So, we pray the Marian prayer. Then, after the Marian prayer, we make the concluding prayer of the Rosary. Then, we conclude with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Spirit. So, how can the Rosary be prayed? Rosary can be prayed in private or in a group, as simple as that. And then, why do we pray Rosary? It is because we believe that our our mother intercede for us at the foot of the cross when jesus was on the cross he said to the mother behold your son and to the son he said behold your mother so mary is our mother jesus entrusted us on the hands of his mother and mary is our mother the mother helps us to intercede for us. She knows what the sons and the daughters go through in life. When we approach her, Mary is ready to help us. At the wedding at Cana, for example, when the wine was over, Mary told the son they have no wine, and the, the son eventually acted upon it. So me and you today also, we have no something for example, we don't have vaccine for COVID-19. So we can also approach the mother that we have no vaccine for COVID-19 or we have, no, we have no vaccine for other sicknesses, diseases like HIV. And also, today we are also going through some difficulties like during this time of lockdown, we have no food in some families. We can tell mother, we have no food. Jesus is there to provide for us. Mary is there to intercede for us. When we humble always ourselves and we pray the rosary, Mary is always there to walk with us. This does not mean that we cannot pray directly to Jesus. We can, but we should not skip the mother whom Jesus gave to us. Is the mother of our Savior. So, me and you, we need to involve Mother Mary in our life. 
involve Mother Mary in whatever problem you are going through. She is there to help us. And I tell you, my brothers and sisters, with Mary, nobody will go astray. Thank you very much. May God bless you. And let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of our Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a nice day, and continue praying the Rosary.